know what's better than new socks. Nothing. So yesterday, I was telling you that Caitlin wasn't really eating that well and as mu wasn't eating as much as she normally does. Well, I think we figured it out. Because yesterday she had mostly milk and not formula. So this morning we made her bottle with the toddler formula and she drank the entire thing. So I think we figured out what the problem is. We need to make a slower transition to milk. Yeah. Huh. Alright, so today I'm making chicken cordon bleu casserole at the request of that one. So, there we go. Okay, so I've got Swiss cheese, ham, and then chicken layered in there. Now, there's four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour. So we're gonna whisk them together. All right, so I got it. My roux thickened the way it was supposed to. So now we'll add uh, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, paprika and lemon juice to it and then we'll pour it over the dish. Alright, so now this will go into the oven for 45 minutes. Should we go see where dad is? Hmm? Huh? You see the snow? Oh wow, look at that Caitlin. It's snowing even harder. What is it? Huh? What is that? Dada. What do you think of this, Caitlin? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. No one's so yeah. hard. Yeah. I <laughs> huh. Who's that, Caitlin? Is that Dada? <laughs> Hi, Goober. Ready to play? Someone just woke up from her nap and is ready to play, huh? We're trying to uh, keep up with the calories that Caitlin needs each day since she needs to get about twice the calories of a typical baby. So yesterday we went and picked up a bunch of Pediasure. So she has that for a snack and it goes in her sippy cups. And then we're also using the toddler transitions formula so that we can transition from formula and from the bottle to the sippy. So, I'm trying to give her like milk and she drinks from her sippy. So, it's kind of a, it's interesting, like the transition. both I was finally able to eat for the first time today and Caitlin had a little snack so now we're refueled and ready to go huh I'm just gonna let her play while I try to get more of these done okay all clean except the silverware because Caitlin was getting impatient but you lasted for a long time without mama while I got most of them done. Yeah. I'm gonna look and see if it's still smelling. Ready, Kayla? Oh, look! It is! Look at that! I'm gonna see how tall I can build a foam tower on this using this for the base before Caitlin can get to it and knock it over. 
What is it? Oh no! Oh no! You're gonna get it! Oh! Is that so much fun? Yeah. Okay. So one of the medicines that CF patients have to take is called Creon. And what it is is a pancreatic enzyme that helps CFers absorb their nutrients properly because the primary system that CF affects is the digestive system and the respiratory system. So there's like um, thick sticky mucus in their pancreases so it doesn't uh, break down the food and deliver the nutrients from it so we give her enzymes to so that she can absorb her nutrients and grow she's been on this one so that's Creon 6000 so we have to break open three for snacks and four for her mills. And then we just switch to Creon 12,000. So once we finish our Creon 6,000, we'll only have to open like two of these with mills and let's see, one and a half with snacks. The last few days, I've noticed that Caitlin, she's coughing a little bit and like snores sometimes while she's sleeping kind of like she's a little bit congested or her pa nasal passages are dry so we've been doing the her pulmonzyme in the morning and then pulmosol at night but i think we're just gonna have to make this a regular thing because we seem to keep doing it so i had to sterilize nubs tonight because we you can't use a nub cup unless it's sterilized. So, I'm happy to do it, but with uh, CFers, as they get older and grow and the disease progresses, the treatments just increase and the dosages and all that. And, but we just roll with the punches and do whatever we need to do. Huh. Guess who woke up at the perfect time from her nap? Caitlin. Because I literally just finished the vlog and all I have to do is upload it now and she just woke up. I love it when it works out that way when I can just sit and edit the vlog while she's napping because then I can concentrate on it. So, good job little bear. Come on. So, tonight we still need to do bath time treatment and dinner but that's okay it's only about it's still pretty early in the night caitlin okay ready to see something crazy okay so is it still snowing it's still snowing it is still snowing so since let's see about 1 30 before brian left for work and he shoveled all the like the walkways and stuff so in about four hours it has snowed let's see like two inches caitlin that's crazy what do you have all done with bath time yay all dressed, ready to go eat dinner. Before I can get her dinner ready though, I need to get the nub cups out. Huh. I know, I'm sorry. These have to come out though, Caitlin. What you doing? She doesn't, well she doesn't want to be in her high chair and she wants me to hold her, but I'm trying to cook some pancakes right now. So, put her in a big girl chair. Apparently, 
This is the trick to get her to drink her bottle tonight. Hold it as awkwardly as possible. That's okay though. Whatever we have to do to get her to eat, huh? Yeah. You're tired. So once she finishes this, oh, but she'll take a nap for a little while before treatment. Which would be really nice, huh? Because you need lots of rest. I have good news, you guys. So last night, Caitlin really struggled with drinking her evening bottle. Well, tonight, she's all but finished it. Good job, Caitlin. Yay! What a big hitter. <laughs> oh. Really good ideas for character names. And I also like looking at famous people's aerial sites. I don't know. It's just. Caitlin. Okay, what is all that? Yeah. Is it baby bump? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. yeah. My camera battery is dying, so now we're on my phone. So, with treatments, the first thing that we do is two puffs of on her albuterol inhaler. Ah! So this is the spacer, and this is the inhaler, and this helps open up the airways. Oh, looks like this. So. Just take off that top and make sure to not touch anything in there because anything that's, that the medicine will touch has to be sterile. So this is what the medicine looks like. A little vial. While we're waiting to do Caitlin's second puff of albuterol, because we have to wait a minute in between puffs. Um, yeah. So... I said earlier that she sounded kind of like congested and has been snoring a little bit and whatnot. And CF is such a weird disease and it's it's a hard disease because one thing that I guess Caitlin's getting older that I find myself kind of struggling with is deciphering what is just normal baby stuff and what is CF stuff because like yesterday she didn't really want to eat her food very much and we figured out it was just because we were just giving her milk, and I think that any baby would do that because the transition from formula to milk, you know, takes a little while to get used to it. So I'm hoping that this uh, Pulmosol or hypertonic saline, basically the same thing, takes care of this congestion problem for her. And we try to see efforts can't um, have humidifiers, can't run humidifiers because the mold and bacteria and stuff that grows in the filters of those is very dangerous for CF patients. So the one thing that we can do is I just get a pot of water and then just boil it and let it steam because the water's not sitting in a filter so it's sterile. So it just moistens the air and then we also run an air purifier. So I'm hoping that it's just winter dryness in her nasal passages because I don't want to have to seek out like a an ENT Ear nose, ear, nose, and throat doctor, or uh, I'm hoping it's just normal baby stuff because I've read that it's normal for babies to get a little bit congested and whatnot at this age. She's such a good girl. Caitlin is such a tough, brave girl. She's kind of had a hard day today. She's just seemed ornery, but she's still like when I went to go put the mask on her. She took her passy out by herself, so because she knows that it's easier to do this without the passy. But isn't she? She's amazing. Okay, we'll see you later. Okay, so it is about quarter to eleven right now, and we're gonna measure the snow. So in about this will be about eight hours, eight or nine hours that all this has collected. First of all. That's like two feet. Now that's not the snow from just today, it's been from the last few big snows, but there's like this wall of snow around our entrance. Okay, now we brought a ruler. Let's see here, Caitlin. We'll just go right there. Oh my gosh. That's like seven inches. Touch it. Touch it. 
Ooh, that's cold, huh? Oh, so cold. So cold, huh? What is that? It tastes good, huh? So, I just received a message from Brian saying that he's finally leaving work, but he has to help people out of the parking lot that are stuck, apparently, because he's nice like that. Look who's home an hour and a half late, but the snow, point to it, went up to there. And he took some pictures, so I'll be sure to include those so you can see just how insane this snow situation is. <laughs> so I now feel like a complete idiot because I should know better than to not. So there's seven inches. The last time I measured, which was at 11 tonight, in front of our door. So, any guesses on how much will be there tomorrow morning? 11? 13 feet. 13 feet. Now this is just in front of the door. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's the snow is deeper outside, like in the grass or whatever. But that's just the best spot to test because it hasn't been shoveled. And it's, or it has been shoveled. So it's just today's snowfall. Yeah. Well, well this afternoon's snowfall, actually. We'll have to measure outside of the window here. Yeah. Because I noticed that was deeper than on the stairs. Yeah. When I shoveled. Okay, so tomorrow we'll measure in front of the door and at the top of the stairs, right outside the window, at the top of the entrance to our house. I'm guessing a foot. Yeah. I'm guessing at a least. foot. So, damn it. I wanted to go somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> but, who knows? Maybe it'll just be a lot of snow and it will be done snowing. But, anyway. I'll have to put in some pictures of the snow situation at his work from earlier, but yeah. Okay, bye.